Hey Sagittarius, this is Kelly from Moonpai Tarot. So this will be your love reading for November 2018. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. <clears throat> Excuse me. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. So just take what you can. Um, okay, so I'm doing the spread a little bit differently. So I will, sorry, I will tell you as I go, what each position is and what's happening here. I did shuffle the cards and place them. And I have to say, you have seven major arcana cards showing up here out of nine. Two are minor arcana. So I want to really preface to you, Saj, that November is going to be a very powerful month for you. And for those of you going into your birthday, if that's positive, we'll see how the reading goes. Obviously, happy birthday. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. This reading will have more to do with um, a, a love situation. Okay, so um, this really is about what's going on with another person. So if you're listening to this reading, if you are guided here, this will have something to do with... Um, a situation that you were dealing with with somebody else and we're going to really take a look at them and what um, may be happening with them so the past situation here is the death card now some of you may have been dealing with a scorpio in your past um, but there was some major change that occurred in the past situation. Now, some of you may have lost someone to a death. And, and if that were the case, I'm truly sorry. And I'm, I'm sure you're not listening for a love reading, but maybe a message will come through to you about um, if it was unexpected or there's something that you need to know from this person. And that's for select. For others, there is a the past energy of there was a great change and something ended with another person okay there was a disconnect and i feel like this wasn't sudden and even for those of you that lost someone i mean small select group of you lost someone suddenly but death is usually slow transformation so it's not like the tower energy although the tower sits underneath it. So that's why I'm saying it could be either or. Um, but I am picking that up here. I am seeing that there was great change. Um, and so either with a Scorpio or just in general. Now, the present situation here. I was saying all major arcana. I'm sorry. The two of pentacles here. And this is a card that means change as well. So for a lot of you, whatever this past situation was that occurred, it has completely changed you and that other person. Okay. This two of pentacles here is balance. Balancing what's tangible, balancing in your life presently, what you can actually work with, what you can actually get your hands on to try to bring order and balance to your life. And I feel that you are in that place right now. You're trying to make sense of tangible things. Okay. A lot of you are going through some papers. You're, you're rereading texts. You are, uh, looking at the situation, you're holding things in your hand and you're trying to pick up the energy or what, what happened. You're trying to get a feel because some of you don't understand not so much what happened, but why it happened. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you are definitely you and this other person are going through some huge transformations and change in your life trying to figure things out, making decisions, making practical decisions about either where to go from now or where to go from here, uh, what to do with your finances too, 
how to either support yourself or figure out a way to um, live. So this is the present energy, okay? Um, the person that you're dealing with or whom you're inquiring about, what's going on in their mind, they have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so for some of you um, that did actually lose someone who's no longer with you, um, this person... Some of you knew that this person was going, or this person knew that they were going to be going. And um, there is, they were, th they were thinking about leaving something for you, some, a small fortune, a will, or um, some money somewhere, or some assets. Okay, and even if this isn't a death, but something ended or a divorce of some sort or a separation, this person, I feel they were thinking about how they could help you um, process through this change. Um, and for the reason, for a reason, I, I don't necessarily feel like they're guilt ridden, um, but I do feel like on their mind, um, about this situation, they wanted to be able to provide something for you um, after this after this separation of some sort. You know, I was also feeling <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> excuse me. Whenever I talk, you know, um, I was also feeling that this person, the way they thought, they, their thoughts on the situation was that it was for the best. And it was a favorable, it's favorable, it was favorable to them or it was favorable to you or for both of them. And, and whether you believe it was or not, this is what they were thinking. This is what they are thinking um, presently, that this was the best, this was the best that they could do. Um, now what this person thinks of you here is tower card is here. This person thinks that, um, or when they think of you, they think that, um, for some of you, they think that you wanted this, you wanted this change to happen. And, um, they also think that you are someone who is quite capable of change of, quite capable of handling major misfortune that you have some type of strength and the strength card sits right here. Um, and that's how they feel about you. This person f feels and thinks that you will be okay or that you will uh, gain the strength. You, you even though... Mm, for some of you, this was like such a sudden change or, or, um, they, th they think that you, even though it may have been a slow process or they, and they saw it coming or you saw it coming, it, they think that you, it's still a shock for you, whatever the situation was. And, um, but they feel, <clears throat> my goodness, they feel that you are strong enough to handle this. Now, what this person wants from you is um, not necessarily from you, but it's either from you or for you. This person wants, okay, for some of you, they want you to um, find your faith again. Now, I'm just going to say before I move on, <clears throat> that some people could be dealing with Scorpio, could be a double Scorpio here. Mars energy could have Aries, um, Leo, Taurus, and um, I think that's it. This person, um, <clears throat> they want you to uh, go get help 
or um, to heal. Um, this person wants you to seek counsel. Um, to help you through this. And I know I can hear some of you saying, well, this person lied and cheated and, uh, you know, they left. And, uh, and that's, you know, I'll, it, it can feel offensive to hear the message coming from me that this person wants you to get help. And so um, I'm just giving the message. Um, they also really wanted commitment with you, some type of um, commitment or marriage. Or uh, This person also wanted you to um, fall in line and be under their control in some way. So there's a couple of different messages here. What you need to know about this person is um, the Six of Pentacles here. There's reciproc there was reciprocity here with this person. They, um, they tried to give to the best that they could, and perhaps that wasn't best or good enough for you. And um, that's okay. That doesn't make them a bad person. It just didn't fit what you, you wanted or what you needed. Um, what you need to know is that their generosity and intention was there. Now, whether it was true, uh, I don't 100% know. Um, I'm not picking up. I feel with the Six of Pentacles that it is true generosity and hospitality and even exchange and uh, someone who is helping. I'm, I'm also feeling um, Libra for some of you, but um, I do get a sense that that was their intention. It is their intention to um, not to not leave you feeling lost. There's also this energy that was that the message coming to me that this person, if you have some type of money or you received something from them, um, they want they want you to um, invest it in some type of a school or program or something that you have been interested in doing. There was definitely change and transformation in a relationship, even if you're still with this person and, there, and this person hasn't left your life, there's still a connection there, then this is all playing out that they, they feel that you have the strength and the power to, uh, some of you want to go back to school or some of you um, want to further your education or open up some type of um, a business, spiritual business, or <clears throat> some of you may even want to, um, you know, take some money and invest in a company or a corporation or invest in something. And I feel that this person wants to help you with that, whoever they are. Okay, it doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could be family or friend. Um, I really feel that they have a lot of, um, they support you. They feel you have an amazing strength and power to make great changes. Um, there's also uh, an opportunity for some of you to relocate for work or um, your home. And this person wants to either offer the, the finances to help you with that or help you to find those finances. They think it's a good idea for you to make that change. They feel you have what it takes to do this. To um, be a part of some type of industry, either that they're involved in or that uh, something new that you would like to do. 
And I'm seeing here, as I was saying, what you need to know about this person is that they're 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 trying to be generous, financially generous with you, and they want you to take their offer of help or their support. Um, if you some of you have questions about, you know, should you relocate for work or uh, some of you may be um, questioning whether you should relocate and some of you don't want to because you may have distance between you and another person. But I feel that that person is okay with that, that they don't feel that the connection will end. Um, it's just something that you need to do for yourself right now. And, and, and they want to support you in that. I don't feel that once you leave, then that's it, then it's over. So your advice here is the eight of pentacles. And your advice is to focus on that and to focus on your money and to focus on your work, regardless of what is transforming within a relationship in November. Um, I don't feel this person is, you know, if you're currently with them, I don't feel like this person's going to give up on you uh, just because you're focusing on your schooling, your education, relocating for work, things like that. And your advice with the eight of discs is to um, definitely take a look at your situation. Take a look at what you can and can't do. I just wanted to see something here. So I was getting this strange message and I don't know where that's coming from. It was about gardening. I don't know, planting something. Growth. Your advice in this reading is to focus on your growth. Despite everything else that's going on in your life, because it, I'm getting this message that it's now or never. That's what I'm told, now or never. If you don't do this now, with all the support that you have, it's it's time for you to make this change, Sagittarius. It's, it's time. And you know it. And something's been holding you back. And you have this support around you. And, and if you look, the, f the funds to be able to do what you need to do are, will come. Um, you just have to open your eyes to see it. <clears throat> And so the outcome of the situation is this card is called the Aeon, which is judgment. You're going to um, open up this whole new world. So much will be revealed to you if you follow the advice here that's given to go for it, regardless of the connection. I'm not seeing any kind of, um, you know, whether you're with someone currently or not, I don't feel that even if someone's passed away, they've actually left. I feel they're still providing for you. And I feel that's what the message is coming from spirit and the universe that whomever is no longer with you is still supporting you and they've been speaking to you and you are not listening to them or you're doubting them in some way you're um you're unsure and that's why the hierophant is here they want you to have faith and they want you to know that they are here Okay, this, this, for some of you, this could have something to do with your father. <coughs> Sorry. Or a, a sibling. 
I'm, I'm picking up male energy. And judgment here is revelation. And it's also reconciliation. So whether you're with someone or not, <clears throat> as I was saying earlier, that if you are with someone and there's um, this decision about moving or relocating or doing something is going to take away your time to be with this person, I feel not to worry that there will be some type of reconciliation again between the two of you, that this is not finished just because you have to do what you have to do. And um, this is your advice given to you from those of you who have someone who's passed, that there will be a return. You will connect with them once you begin to follow through with the messages that they're sending you, which is um, to believe and to have faith that whatever this thing is that you're trying to do with your life, you can do it. Um, and you will realize that with judgment here in the outcome, you will realize that they have been with you this whole time and that you have so much support and love surrounding you. And you just may not see it. You may, a lot of you feel like you're alone or you're just, you know, even, even when you're around people, it's hard for you to believe that you're, you feel alone and, and you're not alone. So let's take a look at um, love. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Hmm, that's interesting to me. Why do you think that's showing up here for you? Well, I think like at least what I'm feeling is You know, even if somebody left you and they're still physically here in the 3D, um, express thanks, even if you don't feel like thanks is due. Um, and certainly don't force yourself to express your love to that person. But um, when the time is right, you'll find that after enough time has passed, there's forgiveness and healing, and that always comes. Um, and if it hasn't come, then you're still holding on to past negative energy. And um, easier said than done, of course, but time is the only thing that heals. And um, this person who may currently still be in your life that you are still with, it's okay to um, express how you feel about them. I feel like this is actually, some of you have someone who has passed, but you are also with a partner. And this message from this past, this person who's passed on is telling you to express your love to your partner. Pay attention, give them that love, give them the um, expression of your, your joy and happiness that they're in your life. Of course, don't do anything that's not authentic. If you're not happy and joyous <laughs> about this person, for example, if you're in an abusive relationship, then no, I don't think you should express your love, really. I think you should express it to yourself, um, if anything. But that's a different story. Um, so I feel like your reading is pretty profound. It's profound because number one, you had so many major arcana cards here. And number two, there's heavy duty messages for you for November. That's really important for some of you that could resonate to pay attention to if you like. Um, so I'm just going to leave your reading there for now. And, 
I will see you guys in December. All right, take care.